All right. Um, so unfortunately, I don't have slides since uh, this is a very spontaneous lightning talk. But um, I discussed with some employees at SUSE, and we have some ideas to improve system deboot. I'm Tobias Gorgens. I'm working my free time on OpenSUSE and especially boot-related stuff. So first of all, I have a demo for you for a change I'm proposing. I have an open PR as system D for quite some time now. So I just built my system D version locally. And I'll quickly show you how I'll need to reboot my machine. OK, it doesn't want to reboot. I'll force it. So I did some changes to systemd boot, since I think, especially in OpenSUSE with Snapper and the different snapshots visible in the menu, it's very confusing. So I added submenu support, kind of. So the default version was probably already visible here. And I just booted the, the normal entry. And what I did is that I created like that just the newest entry is visible and that all other menus are collapsed into a submenu. So let me quickly update the bootloader with stbootuter. So if I reboot now, I hope that it worked. Okay, I can't. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. It's my test machine. There are very weird things going on on there. So here we can already see that now I have a kernel version 15.9. I'm uh, having uh, access to that. No, of course not. I just renamed the entry. So we see that two entries for OpenSUSE here. And it's showing two because the entry I selected as default is not the newest one. So it's showing that as well. And we have a more button here. And when we click that, we see the other OpenSUSE entries. And down here, we have then the snapper entry, the newest, and the submenu with the other snapper entries. And yeah, so far everything works. So I can, for example, select another entry as default. I can boot that. Let's see what happens. Oh yes, okay, that's, it's a test machine. Um, so we can boot that. Then I will quickly reset it. And then we should see another entry up there. And yeah. Should you have uh, any experience with systemd boot? Yeah, now we have that entry here and not the other entry anymore because well, that was selected as default. So that is working great. Then we have an issue with firmware update. So it tries to um, find the shim, but it doesn't because it doesn't look into EFI systemd. So it would be great if there was, for example, a compile option to change the location where systemd boot installs in. It just installs into slash EFI slash systemd, and that's not very optimal, especially since we are on OpenSUSE using measured boot, and I think we are also measuring systemd boot, and if another operating system installed on the same machine updates the bootloader, that would break our measurement, even though the OpenSUSE bootloader shouldn't have changed. So it would be great if we could have different uh, install locations for different operating systems with systemd boot. Thank you. <laughs>